Alright, so, for those of you guys that are here in Discord, and for those of you that are watching from YouTube, hello. Today we'll be doing probably the most simple class that you will have. We are literally just creating a 5M QB test server. That's it. That's all we'll be doing today. Um, I wanted to start with this because it is one of the more simpler things that you can do when it comes to 5M development, and it's also one of the most important. So, the first thing we're going to do, open up your browser, and you're going to type in XAMMP, XAMP. And you're going to click on here. And whether you have Windows, if you're on Linux, or if you're on Mac, um, I'm on Windows personally, so you're going to click on the Windows, or whatever version you have. Click Download. Um, mine... Your download may or may not be instant. Kind of depends. Then you just simply go through the installation process. It's very simple. You don't really have to mess with much. You can keep the same folder it's in. Um, I obviously can't install it because I already have it. So once you guys have installed it, go ahead and let me know. So. Then, you're going to want to open XAMPP, and it should pop up with this nice menu here. Oh, you got to use XAMPP? Yeah, yep. Oh. Okay, so then you're going to want to start Apache and start MySQL. And I hope that nothing goes wrong, because XAMPP has a tendency to break sometimes, and you have to freaking try and fix it. I had that happen last night and I lost my whole database because of it. Luckily there wasn't much on it, it's just a test server, so at the end of the day losing a database is not that bad. Alright, uh, let me know when you guys have those started, because that's very important for running a database. Yeah, I'm started. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then you can minimize that. Um, feel free to click the X, it won't actually close it, it'll just go to your bar here. Next thing, uh, pull up your browser again. Type in, uh, this is personally my, the personal one I use. You can use other ones, but I use Heidi SQL. Uh, you can also use PHP My Admin. that's another one, but um, for this class I'm going to be teaching you on Heidi. So. Then you simply go to Downloads, uh, Installer, and then you just want to click the Installer 64-bit Combined. It'll download. This one shouldn't take as long. And once again, just go through this. Uh, make sure um, you don't get any of that fluff that it'll try and that it might try and give you just to make it easier uh keep an eye on the hashtag trainee chat because i will be sending something there shortly if i could spell okay so these are the 5m artifacts uh feel free to download um 5631 that is the re most recent that is the one I always go with. And then just let that uh, sit there for a minute. We won't be using that right off. Then once that's downloaded, go to your desktop or wherever you plan on putting this. I'll be deleting this after, so it doesn't really matter much to me. So I'm just going to call this server. And then inside of it, I'm also going to put a folder called server, but this is different. Then you want to simply go in the server folder that you just created. Go to your downloads um, with like 7-zip or WinRAR. Uh, that's personally what I use is WinRAR. I actually have both. I have 7-zip and WinRAR because there's some files that I need to open with 7-zip and some files I need to open with WinRAR. Then... We're going to simply do this, 
and you're going to grab all the files in the zip and throw them in the server folder. Once you've gotten to this point, let me know. Yeah, done. Okay. Oh, yeah, done. All right. Okay. All right. So, now that you've done this, you're going to want to scroll down until you find a program called fxserver.exe. You're going to click on that, run it, allow the access, uh, link your account to it. Uh, set up a password. <clears throat> Mine really doesn't matter because, like I said, this will be deleted after. Oh, jeez. There. Jeez. Okay. Now, once you've gotten to this point, let me know. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Then click next. Um, whatever your server name is going to be. So, like, I don't know. PGN test server like TK, whatever, or um, TK TK's PGN test server. Doesn't matter. Then, uh, normally, if you were just making a normal server, you go to popular template and then CFX default. But in this case, we're making a QB Core framework server. So you're gonna click QB Core. Um, this should autofill to uh, wherever that you put your server, so leave that. You shouldn't need to change that at all. Click Save, and then go to Recipe Deployer. This will simply tell you what it's going to deploy. Scroll all the way down. Click Next, and it's going to ask for a key. Go to the Key Master. Uh, click on Buses, I guess. or whatever it wants you to click on. Mine is like normally buses or trucks. This needs to hurry up, come on. There we go. And paste. And then run, uh, show hide database options. This should be fine. Localhost, root. If you did put a password, put it there. If you do want to change the database name, you can, like right here. Um, and then if there's a database that's already created with that name, you can delete the database if it already exists. And then you click run recipe. And now this will take a bit. Let me know when you guys are on the on this process right here, where it's just downloading stuff from the GitHub. Okay. Uh, once it's done, this will pop up. Don't worry about that right now. Click Next. And then let me know when you are on this page right here. So then, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, keep that the same. Um, this, it's only going to be you, so... You could just set that to whatever. Um, just let you know, custom clothing. Like if you do want custom clothing in your test server for whatever reason, um, custom clothing works with anything under eight for free users. So then we have all this. This is your license key that you put in. Um, this is the host name, uh, the project name, project description if you want to change any of that. If you have a special logo that you want to put in, you can put it there. This enforces game build 2372. Um, if you want the higher version, which is 2545, 
which is like I think the newest one that they have currently, you can do that. Um, but most things only require 2372. This is your database information. This is for voice stuff that's automatically set up for you. This sets your QB lo uh, locale to English. So if you speak in a different language and you want your QB stuff to be in your native language, you can change that. Um, this is for QB target. We'll get into this a little bit later in our lessons. Uh, QB target is a very powerful thing and um, definitely not something we'll be learning right off. Um, everything else, this is all the default stuff that 5M needs to start. Down here is QB core and extra stuff. Down here, you'll have all of your permissions. It should already have you right here. So that way you'll have admin permissions right away. And then you simply click save and run server. After this, your server should run. Um, this means it has started. If you ever see this, that means the server is started and you're all good to go, to go into it. I usually like to wait if you're starting up a new server for this to stop. Um, yarn finished. It's just a yarn thing, so. And then we're going to go back to Heidi. And I'm going to click refresh here. And as you can see, I think it's one of these here. Yeah, it's this one right here. This should be your database. Once you guys have your f server fully started, let me know. Yeah, it's up. No, mine's up. Okay. All right. Then you're going to want to go to that same folder that you were in. Go to server, and then every time you want to start up your server, your bat file to start it will be right here, underneath your server and TX data. All right. And so since the server started, let's go into it. Go into your 5M. And then you should see this button now. This does not normally pop up unless you are running a local host. Simply click on it and it will take you into your server. And there you go. And then you simply just create a character. So we'll just use South Rockford Drive. Wait for it to load. There we go. I don't really care about my character model right now. And there you go. Once you have gotten to this point, you have successfully made a QB test server.